We have been thinking about a filter for the past three years and we wanted to make something that could easily fit our environment both in terms of sonic character and workflow. Here's Kunsa, a quadruple analog pingable multimode resonant filter, saturator, mixer and oscillator. It is our sound seasoning tool. It can gently even a patch, applying a final touch, or it can set it on fire with a ridiculous amount of spice. It is up to you and your cooking style. It consists of four multimode resonant filters with a custom saturation and feedback control that you can use independently or in various combinations and roles thanks to a series of semi-normalizations. Every filter has an input VCA that goes past unit gain and can easily saturate the circuit. More on this later on. The filters have three behaviors, low pass, band pass, and high pass. Each with a 12 dB per octave slope, except for the low pass, whose slope can be set to 24 dB per octave with this switch. The filters are resonant with a voltage controllable Q parameter that emphasizes the cutoff frequency. It creates a very smooth and liquid sweep that is hard to distort, but most importantly, it retains the bass. If you like your filters hotter, the character parameter has all the spice you need. It controls the filter behavior when the circuit is overloaded. Let's try and push the VCA past the unity gain. By default, Kunsa's filter has a soft clipping safety circuit that tames hot signals and adds a smooth saturation. By rotating the character knob, we remove those safety precautions and let the signal overload the circuit with a significant amplitude increment. The distortion becomes harsher and the resonance more screamy, especially with the backpass filter. filter tracks volt per octave so that you can use it as a harmonic reinforcement tool or even without input in self resonation as an actual sign oscillator. It is also possible to set the filter close to the self oscillation point and then fit it with a trig signal. It will make the circuit ring. To ease the tuning operation we added a fine tune knob for the cutoff frequency. Every parameter is voltage controllable with an attenuverter, including the cutoff frequency. But this one can also be controlled by the volt per octave input and by the ping circuit. This is a non-linear DC coupled integrator that adds an adjustable decay to whatever CV you patch to its input. If you use a trig or a gate, it will create an organic decay to the cutoff frequency. Since it is DC coupled, it retains the trig or gate level information. If you patch other signals, you can obtain interesting glide effects. Through the behavior switch, you can choose if the frequency controls should behave normally in filter mode or also control the input PCA in combo mode with a custom curve, achieving a dynamic sound that attenuates both amplitude and timbre, especially in low pass mode. This can create some organic and percussive effects, but it can also be useful at high Q and character settings. You can hear that in filter mode the resonance gets very loud as it approaches the fundamental frequency, so we can tame it through the combo mode. Beware though, it can create some unusual amplitude effects with the high pass behavior. What we said about this filter also apply to the other three, which can be used independently or combined through input semi-normalizations and group outputs. For example, instead of mixing the filters through the CGM, we can pick them all through the all output and define their post-filter amplitude through these faders here. Since the filters are multimode, we can select which one should go to the internal mixing sum through this switch here. There is also a dry output for the unprocessed sound and two sounds for channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, ideal for studio processing. This is also possible thanks to the semi-normalizations of four key inputs, audio, VCA, volt per octave and ping. 
Whenever you patch a signal to any input, it will automatically feed those at its right. So for example, if we patch an audio signal to filter 1, we automatically feed filters 2, 3 and 4. We can now use the two outputs to process it in stereo. We can sweep four filters with the same CV by patching it to the volt per octave input or the ping input and make them all track at the same time. You can remove the semi-normalization at any time by using a dummy cable. By making the four filters resonate and tuning them to specific frequencies we can achieve something similar to a rudimentary harmonic oscillator. Very nice when ringed. We can also use Kunsa as a quadrupole sine wave oscillator. Combine that with the ringing technique and you'll obtain a polyphonic uh, percussive instrument with a very distinct tone. And this was an overview of the new Kunsa filter, the sound seasoning tool. More demos, tutorials and examples will come over the next weeks, so stay in touch.